Hello, and welcome to Ministry Monday. My name is Deb Headley, Spiritual Care Coordinator for Canute Nelson Hospice, and I hope you had an amazing weekend. So I was just going to read a little excerpt from Jesus Calling because I felt that it went, it just so went with what we're going through in today's times with the coronavirus and with our lives really be ch- being changed and really being turned upside down. He says, come to me with empty hands and an open heart, ready to receive abundant blessings. And then when we, he just says to us, when you come to him with empty hands, like needing nothing, you know, like Lord, just in in an open heart and just ask him to come in. That is what he's waiting for us to do. He says, I know the depth and the breadth of your neediness. And this part is really good. It says your life path has been difficult, draining you of strength and life. Your life path could be very difficult in many ways. And it could be with the virus and it could be the way in which it's affecting your work and affecting those around you. But it also could be not only the virus uh, that's affecting us, but other storms on top of that, storms of depression or anxiety or addiction or loss. Your, there could be other storms that are happening in your life. And so the Lord said, it's been difficult. It drains you of strength. So come to me and I will nurture you. Let me fill you up with my presence. I in you and you in me. And that's what the Lord can do for you in these trying times. That's one of the beauties of beauty. One, one beautiful thing in the suffering that we have is that when we are struggling and when we are hurting and we open our hearts to the Lord, that he can come in and be in us and we can be in him. And we have this amazing union with him. He says, my power flows most freely into weak ones aware of their need for me. And remember that, that the Lord is always there and he's always with us. But sometimes it takes a hardship. Sometimes it takes us getting knocked down. Sometimes it takes us when we're being crushed that we open up our hearts and we say, okay, Lord, I need you. Use him now. And then it says faltering steps of dependence are not not a lack of faith. You know, just because you need him and just because you're struggling does not mean that you don't have faith but they're links to the Lord's presence. And so I really loved uh, the Bible verse that took us to, which was Isaiah uh, 40, 29 through 31. It's so good. And it just said, he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. So if you grab onto the Lord, he will give power to the weak and give strength to the powerless. Powerless, And even youth will become weak and tired and young men will fall in, exhaust, in, in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength They will soar high on wings like eagles and they will run and not grow weary and they will walk and not grow faint. And here's the study notes. It says, even the strongest people get tired at times. Even if you have so much strength and so much endurance and so much stamina and you just go, 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 even strong people get tired at times, but God's power and strength are never diminished. He's never too tired or too busy to help you and to listen to you. His strength is our source of strength says, when you feel all of life crushing you and you cannot go another step, remember that you can call upon God and he will renew your strength. So just remember God is always with you. And when you feel like life is crushing you, just grab onto the Lord, open your heart and your hands and, and call him in. and He's there. So with that, be kind, give more, stay humble. Shine God's love and light and all you meet. Have an amazing week. Mm-hmm.